Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from BenRevs.com and ShouldIGetIt.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my sample images that I've taken with the Nikon D800. So I got my Nikon D800 last night from BNH Photo Video, and I used it a little bit this morning to take some photos. I filmed a lot of videos actually with it yesterday. I used it to film a lot of new reviews for YouTube.com slash ShouldIGetIt. And this morning, I walked around for a few minutes and got to test it out. So I just want to give you some of my immediate thoughts and show you some image samples. So right off the bat, what I noticed was the dynamic range and the colors in this camera are crazy. So I know you might be saying that this shot is a little bit soft. Um, it's not in focus. I had the camera on manual focus from filming video. So this was the first shot of the day I took. But you can still see that the dynamic range and the colors are really good. So if we look at my develop settings, the only thing that I have pumped here is the contrast. So let me show you the normal image. So you can see that there's a ton of detail in the sky, there's a ton of detail in the grass, and all the colors come out really nice. And then if you boost up the contrast, the dynamic range just looks totally, totally great. So this next photo is another example of that. So we can see that here. So you have the nice greens right here. You have the sky up there and the detail shut up dog the detail is insane so like we can zoom in on these windows here and you can see that is really really sharp right there and this was all shot with the 50 millimeter 1.8 d lens that i reviewed on my channel and i'm really loving the quality of the shots so here is my friend matt you can see that this is at uh, i believe 1 8 we can check the settings here Let's check. So this is at f2, 1 2,000th of a second, ISO 400. Really clean file. You can see that when you zoom in, especially with this 36 megapixel sensor, there is just a ton of detail in the shots. You have a really shallow depth of field, so you can see his face, to, face is soft, um, and that is only a few inches away probably from where his hand is. And the colors and the textures just come out super, super nice from this camera. We can zoom in. You can see the dirt on his laces. And you can see, you know, little pieces of paint coming off on the wheel. And there's just really crazy amounts of detail in these shots. And you can pull a lot of data from the raw images. So this image I took, I'll show you the original. So let me reset this. That's the original file. And then with some editing, I got it to look like that. Very, very simple raw files they are pretty large though um, which is another downside i guess from this camera especially because i only have a 512 gigabyte solid state drive and i shoot a ton of video so i and a ton of photos so i'm gonna run out of room pretty quick but that's okay the files range from 50 to 88 megabytes and even larger than that so i'm gonna show you now what we can pull from the raw files so this is the raw file as you can see it's a little bit bland First, we're going to bring down the highlights and the whites to bring in a little bit more detail in the clouds there. We're going to pump up the contrast. We can bring the shadows up if we want, or we can bring the shadows up and move the blacks down so you get a little bit more detail there, and we can move the clarity a little bit too. So you can see that the raw file gives you just a ton of data, and um, I'll show you a good example of that here. So I'm pretty happy with the shot. This was also at, I believe, f2 one five thousandth of a second so you can see this sensor gets a ton of light because it's a full frame sensor and there's a lot of detail here so if i really wanted to and if my computer will load this i could use the shot like this or i could even zoom in one more step and that's that's a decent usable shot because that's all very very sharp and there's a ton of detail and that's crazy because the whole image is much larger than that so if i zoom out that's the full image. And if I showed someone the file like this, you'd probably still think that it's a full size image because it's just a crazy massive file and you can zoom in to 100% crop and everything's still gonna be tag sharp. So here is the original raw file from that. I'll show you my develop settings. So there's the original. I worked with the highlights, worked a little bit with the contrast and clarity, vibrance, a little bit with the tone curve, and I pumped up the blues and aquas. So this is the original, and this is the after shot. So tons of data, of course, and then here's the black and white version. And here's another example of the dynamic range. So as you can see, really crazy dynamic range. 
Sorry about that. And the dynamic range is, is just insane, as you can see here. So if you'd like to check out these photos, I'm going to upload some JPEGs. The link will be in the description and you can check them out. You're not going to be able to zoom in um, because the file is only going to be about a thousand pixels wide, but you'll be able to see the sharpness and the detail. These were all shot with a 50 millimeter 1.8. I just wanted to kind of throw out my initial impressions with this camera. That's why this is on my second channel. If you haven't subscribed to my main channel where I review cameras and lenses, make sure to do that by hitting the annotation right here. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will try to respond to you as soon as possible. Have an awesome day. Peace.